Cartoon All Stars to the Rescue. I I wouldn't know where to begin with this one because this one sort of lives on in the infamy of the internet. But I will say that it's is a very very old show. It's only available on VHS at the time, and it was 1990. And basically, the plot of it is. All of the cartoon stars that are in the se- in this entire episode, you know, we've got Bugs Bunny, we've got Daffy Duck, Alf, Alvin and the Chipmunks, uh, Garfield, Winnie the Pooh, the Smurfs, Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All of them are involved in getting one kid off drugs. <laughs> yeah, you're sort of looking at me like this, like thinking... What? Drugs? Really? But yes, they're getting them off drugs. It's just absolutely crazy. The one thing that I will say about this, which is unbelievable, is the fact that for an entire thing about drugs, they bring home the point. There are a lot of things that are referenced to their past things, like Bugs Bunny pulls out a time machine and he said, I got it from some coyote. Like, really? Why? Why? There's so many questions that logic that would be like, for starters, like, how did the coyote get a time machine? Uh, there's also things such as, like, References to certain things like the infamous "We're not in Cartoon Land anymore." Toto, you know, it's like a reference to Wizard of Oz. How many people, how many kids in the nineties will have heard of Wizard of Oz? Not a lot. Um, there isn't much in the realm of like character design, you know, because they're all basically they look like who they're meant to look like. But if there's anything like I could take away from it, the main character, well, the main villain of this character is just called Smoke. And it was voiced by, I think it was Michael C. Scott or something like that. I can't remember the full name. So I'll have to write it in the little description thing. But for what it's worth, he does a great job. He does like a fantastic job. You know, he definitely makes it more menacing. He definitely makes it more enjoyable. Not the fact that taking drugs is enjoyable, but, you know, like, his appearance is well done. Um, There isn't much I can say about this film because everything about it, it definitely puts on, like, certain aspects of it. The only negative I can see about this is they're doing a lot of things to say, you know, the cartoon characters, they're doing a lot of things to say, oh, drugs are bad, drugs are bad, you know, they're bringing home the message. But then they end up doing things like they torment the kid, which is like thinking, why? You know, it's not like tormenting him as in like poke fun at him. They like straight up do the slapstick murder routine, which is like, you know, they try to run him over, they try to hit him, they try to do all this. It's like, Really? The way I'm looking at it is like you guys are more dangerous than the drugs. Uh, It ends with Michael getting rid of smoke and it sort of like portrays a message of like, oh, the best way to get rid of it is for you and your family to talk about it so they can help you, you can get help, all that lot, blah, blah, blah. And... I'm not saying it in a bad way, but you know what I mean. Uh, overall, if I could give this a score, I would have to give this at least a 5 out of 10. Not because I'm saying it's bad, it's just like, it's one of those like PSA messages that it is important, but it's like, you, are you talking to the right generation of people or are you talking to the wrong generation of people? You know, 
because I've seen PSA episodes done right, like Static Shock, where they talked about guns. I mean, that was quite serious. Drugs are serious to, you know, avoid, but, you know, you're aiming them at, like, let's say, six to 12, yeah, six to eight-year-olds at least. I mean, a majority of them probably won't know what drugs are, so you can understand where that comes, where I'm coming from. It's something I would show my kids if I ever have kids, you know, when they're older, like say at least between 12 and 15. So then they know the, you know, the negatives of drugs. I wouldn't show it them when they're really young because they'll just be more interested in the cartoon characters than the story. So you can understand where I'm at there. Other than that, if you ever find a, find it, give it a watch, let me know what you think about it, but like I said, 5 out of 10, it's, it's a fair compromise. So, with that, I'll see you on the next movie night.